Hello, my lovely friends. I hope you're doing really well. Welcome to today's strong and stretchy and funky hip opening flow. This will be kind of a creative, fluid and playful practice. If you are interested in finding the longer one hour flow of this practice, you're welcome to check out my online membership. The link is in the description box down below. Tana Studio, there is a seven day free trial if you want to check that out. When you're ready, let's get into it. You're welcome to come onto your hands and your knees. Let's make our way into a tabletop position. So you can stack your joints, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, tuck your toes and start to reach your chest forwards. Come into cow, breathe in. Exhale, round cat spine. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest forwards. Exhale, round, contract. And again, arching your spine, lifting your chest forwards, rounding your spine as you contract. Let's go for one more, breathe in. Lift through your heart space. And then breathe out as you curl the body inwards, contract with that out breath. Let's lift the hips up into a downward facing dog. Push into your hands a lot and into your feet as you begin to walk it out. Bend into one leg at a time and take this moment to really connect to your body. Become aware of the palms in contact with the floor, the feet rooting you into the earth. As you pedal out through the feet, you'll feel the hamstrings and the calf muscles lengthen here. And then on your next round of breath, you can begin to extend your right leg into the sky. Find a three-legged dog as you reach into that foot. Bend into the knee, guide your foot towards your bum and take a nice full breath in. With your out breath, step your right foot outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Sink your left knee down to the floor. Reach your right arm out in front of you. Breathe in. Exhale slowly, take the right arm behind you and maybe catch a bind as you bend into the back leg. If you're here, you can slowly pull the foot closer towards your hips. Otherwise, just stay in your twist. That's totally fine. Take one more breath. Beautiful, nice and slow. Let's release that. Lower your right hand down to the floor, lift your left knee off the earth and step both feet back, plank pose. Take a slow flow, chaturanga, bending your elbows and then making your way into an upward facing. Down dog, roll your hips back. Inhale, left leg stretches tall, three-legged dog. Bend into the knee, heel to bum. Exhale, lizard lunge, left foot steps outside of your left hand. Lower your right knee down to the floor as you stretch your left arm forwards. Breathe in. Breathing out, swing your left arm behind you and maybe catch a bind if you did so on the other side, go for it. Coming into a deep hip flexor stretch here on the right side and also finding length through your inner left thigh. Nice and slowly release that. Lower your left hand to the floor as you tuck your right toes. Step both of your feet back in a plank position. Controlled strength, bend your elbows, come halfway down and then make your way into an upward facing, reach through your heart, down dog, slowly roll your hips back. Inhale, send your left leg into the sky, find a three-legged dog. Exhale, hug this left knee into the chest, round through your upper back as much as you can and step your left foot halfway in between your hands and the back foot standing splits, kick your right leg tall. Start to melt your chest as close towards your left leg as you can, breathe in. As you exhale, lift your gaze, peel this right knee into the chest, nice and cozy and close. Right foot in between hands, standing splits, left leg reaches back. Take a full breath. Now as you breathe out, look forwards and begin to peel your left knee up and into the heart space. Come into one-legged mountain pose, hands around left knee, give it a squeeze as you stand up tall. Take a breath. And then let go of your shin bone as you reach the arms up. You can explore straightening out through this left leg. Otherwise, the knee can be bent. Hold for another breath. And then take this slow as you pivot this left leg behind you, flying warrior. Reach the arms back and bend into your right leg a little bit. Breathe in. Breathing out, high lunge. Left foot meets the floor. Arms rise. 
position. Exhale, sink your left knee down to the floor, half splits. You can keep your hands on either side of your right foot and explore straightening out through this front leg. All right, keep your hands on either side of this leg here and then we're going to try to lift this leg off the floor even if it's just for a second. Hold and breathe. And lower the foot down to the floor. Lunge, reach the arms out in front of you, Anjayasana. As you exhale, lift your back knee off the floor. One leg in mountain pose, left knee into chest. Take your left peace fingers, so pointing finger and middle finger around your big left toe. And then right hand to right hip as you explore, extending the leg forwards. The leg can be slightly bent, that's cool. Take a breath in, lengthen through your spine. And then we'll start to bring this left leg over to the left side. Try to isolate the movement in your left leg with your pelvis nice and level. All right, using your active range of motion, you're gonna let go of your left leg. Start to swing it behind you all the way over to the right side. Let the edge of the left foot meet the ground, left hand to floor, right arm reaches tall. Breathe in. As you exhale, flip your dog right foot over to the side, lift your hips and your heart space, expand. And then exhale, lower your hips down to the floor, swing over to the right side, stargazer, reach into your chest and your hips. Exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. Drop your right shin bone down to the floor. All right, and then we'll bend into this left leg, interlace your hands around this left foot and kick into your foot, heron pose. All right, the leg can be bent, that's fine. If you have the range, you can start to guide this foot a little bit closer towards you. It's a deep hamstring stretch. All right, take a breath. Okay, beautiful, wherever you are, you're gonna drop that left foot down to the floor, press into the foot, rise onto that foot, one-legged mountain, arms rise, breathe in. Exhale, take this right leg over to the side, tree pose, right foot meets the inner left thigh. Hands together, nice and tall, breathe in, find that focus. And then as you breathe out, lift the foot off of your leg, step your right foot behind you, reach the arms up, face your left leg. It's a pyramid variation, take the arms out to the side, see if you can keep your legs straight, firm your thighs and your bum as you start to lean forwards. So using strength and flexibility here. If you need to bend into the left leg a little bit, that's cool. Lowering the torso down, down even more until you find a fold, let the hands meet the ground. Halfway lift, and exhale, fold. With that out breath, bend into the left leg, plant the right hand to the floor in front of you, yogi toe lock, left fingers around your big left toe, swirl onto that right foot, and you can either find a full Vashistasana side plank variation, or tree left foot meets that inner right thigh. So explore either one of those any side plank that is working for you right now. Try to lift up through the bottom hip, push away from the ground. Coming out of it nice and slowly, let go of your foot or your knee, left hand meets the floor, left foot in between hands, low lunge. Nice work guys, right knee to floor, reach the arms up, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, lift your back knee off the floor and find a twist, left arm behind you, right arm forwards, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Reach into the arms, find length. And then reverse your warrior and take your right hand behind your back to maybe find a bind to this inner left thigh. Reach back through the left arm. Staying in your bind, we're going to find a wind-legged fold. Left hand meets your right ankle bone, melt your chest towards your right thigh. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, release that. Face the back of your space, low lunge. Breathe in, lift your chest. And then find an easy twist as you reach your right arm into the sky. Flip your dog, find a wild thing. Push into the left hand, reach into your chest, into your hips. Breathe in. 
breathing out, lower your hips down to the ground. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. We're gonna wrap this right arm around this right leg, left hand behind you, catch a bind here. And then melt your chest closer towards your left leg. Explore this as you breathe. Nice and slowly release your bind as you come out of it. Lean back a little bit and then lean forwards with the help of your hands. We're going to meet in a standing split. You're going to kick your right leg into the sky at the front of your mat, fingertips on floor, reach back into the right toes. Playing with a few switch kicks now, hands on the floor in front of you, hands are shoulder distance apart, right leg is reaching back, left knee starts to bend and then you're going to kick this right leg up and switch sides. Arms are nice and straight. You're gonna have your gaze in between your thumbs, okay? So switch kicks, maybe you will find a moment or two of hang time, or maybe not. Wherever you are, just play a little bit. Play with me. All right, we're gonna find a forward fold when you're ready. Relax for a breath. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's rise, high mountain pose, pushing the feet into the earth as the arms reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer. High mountain, we rise. And then we fold, bow forwards. Halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into your plank position. Take your flow, chaturanga, to upward facing and then downward facing dog, roll your hips behind you. Beautiful, let's take it to the other side, right side. Send your right leg tall, three-legged dog. Exhale, curl the knee into the chest, curl the body inwards, and then step that foot halfway in between hands and back foot. Standing splits, left leg reaches back. Feel into that beautiful hamstring stretch as you reach back into the left toes. And then look forwards as you curl the left knee into the chest, round through the upper back, step the left foot forwards. Standing splits, right leg lifts. All right, with that out breath, you're gonna start to peel the right knee up and into the chest, one-legged mountain, hands around right knee, give it a squeeze as you stand up tall. Exhale, you can straighten out through that front leg if you did so on the first side. Maybe reaching the arms up. All right, take your time as you begin to pivot this right leg behind you. Flying warrior, sweep the arms back. You can bend into your left leg. Feel into a sense of lightness in the body. High lunge, right foot meets the ground. Arms rise, breathe in. Breathing out, sink the back knee to the floor. Hands to earth, half splits pose. Beautiful, guys. Halfway lift, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forwards. Okay, on your next in breath, you can look forwards, lift your gaze, finding that active variation. Let's try to lift this left leg off the floor. Lots of quad strength here. If you're hovering and you're quivering, that's okay. So am I. Those muscles are working. Woo, nice work. Lower the foot to the ground, bend into the left knee, Anjayasana, reach the arms up, shift the weight onto the left leg as you bring this right knee back into the chest. Standing up tall, yogi toe lock, right fingers around your big right toe. Find your drishti, this will help you as always with your balance. The leg can be bent, if you have a full extension, go for it. Hold and breathe. Start to take the right leg out to the right side, abducting the leg, hold. See if you can move through this with control. Let go of your toes, your foot. Sweep your right leg behind you and then all the way over to the left side. Right hand meets the floor, left arm stretches tall. Beautiful guys, breathe in. And then breathe out, flip your dog, left foot over to the side, lift through your heart space, your hips. Exhale, lower those hips down to the ground. Sweep over to the left side, left hand to floor. Reach into your chest, your hips, stargazer. And then as you breathe out, lower your hips down to the floor. 
facing your right leg here. You're gonna drop the top of your left foot and your left shin bone to the floor. We'll explore Heron. Interlace your hands around your right foot. Extend the leg. Again, the leg does not need to be completely straight. Hamstring stretch. It can be bent. You're still finding that length across the hamstring. Pull the leg a little bit closer to your torso if you have the range. Nice and slowly, you can let go of your foot. Let the right foot meet the floor. Press that foot into the ground as you rise. Pull the left knee up and into the chest, one leg and mountain. Nice work. Okay, take the left leg over to the side in external rotation, and then let's find our tree. Left foot to thigh or calf, hands together at heart space. Take a breath in and a nice exhale. Lift your foot off of your thigh. Take your left leg out to the left side, to the back of your space. Reach the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, spinning forwards. It's a pyramid variation, so try to straighten your legs. Pull up through your kneecaps. Take the arms out to the sides as you lean forwards. Lean forwards, take it slow and controlled. Thigh strength, glute strength, hamstring strength, and of course, flexibility. Let the hands meet the floor. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your chest, bend into the right knee. Plug your left hand down to the floor now. Right fingers wrap around the big right toe. You're gonna to come into that Vashistasana side plank. So take your time, try to bend into the bottom leg first and then lift that leg and then see if you can extend the leg high. Okay, it might not look like what I'm doing, that's okay. Just meet yourself where you're at. As the saying goes, one more breath. All right, see if you can move through it with control. Let go of your leg, right hand meets the floor first. Right foot in front of you, low lunge. Left knee to floor, arms rise. Beautiful, breathe. Let's lift the back leg off the floor. Take a twist to your right side, right arm back, left arm forwards. And then find your warrior two. Ground your feet into the earth, breathe in. Reverse your warrior, breathe out and take your left hand to either your lower spine or weave here to the inner right thigh. Exploring this bind, nice and low to the right knee. And then staying in that bind, find a wide-legged fold, right hand grabs onto the left ankle bone, melt your chest towards your left leg. Deep hamstring and adductor opening. Release all of that, face the back of your space, low lunge, breathe in. Exhale, easy twist, left arm stretches tall. Plug the right hand into the floor and flip your dog. Push into your right hand, reach through your chest and your hips, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, lower your hips down to the ground. Weave your left arm around your left leg, right arm behind you, catching onto that hand, lift up first and then lean forwards. Bow forwards closer towards your right thigh. Hold and breathe, explore. Nice and slowly, you can begin to peel yourself upwards, release your bind, lean back a little bit, fingertips behind you, and then with the help of your hands, we're going to meet in a standing split. So walk yourself forwards, kick your left leg back, standing splits. All right, we're gonna go for one more round of our switch kicks. So hands on the floor in front of you. Remember, you're gonna bend into your right, your bottom leg first, elbows straight. You're gonna kick that leg up and then switch sides. Yeah, so the legs are switching in the air. And then maybe you'll find for just a second, you might hang there, grip your fingerprints into the floor. Focus. All right. I'll give you a few more moments. If you're still playing, go for it. <sighs> Otherwise, we're going to meet in a ragdoll whenever you're ready. Hands around elbows. Give it a little sway from left to right. Relax. <sighs> and then you can gently release your elbows. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees a lot and drop your hips down to the floor, coming into a seated position. 
All right, you can place your right foot in front of your left foot and reach the arms up. Breathe in, exhale, twist to the right, breathe out. Feel the right shoulder back. Relax the body, relax the face. And then slowly unravel and place your left foot forwards, arms rise, feel into length and space, twist to the other side. Peel that left shoulder behind you. On your next round of breath, you can slowly unravel and guide your hands together at your heart space and just take a little moment here to check in with yourself, check in with your body, feel into a sense of openness, maybe of groundedness, maybe of aliveness. Witness your breath gradually slow and consider what you would like to bring into the rest of your day energetically. And connecting, tuning into that. Taking a nice big breath in. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you did. Please let me know how it went for you in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in finding the full length 60 version of that flow, do check out Tana Studio. The link is in the description box down below. I also forgot to mention that there is a seven day find your play challenge happening right now inside Tana Studio. We are currently on day four but you can join the challenge at any time. Um, and basically there are seven free, playful, fluid, spicy, funky practices happening every day from the 1st of March to 7th of March, but you can join any time. So do check that out. I think you guys will enjoy that if you enjoy this practice. And yeah, that's all I have to say today. I'm gonna shut up and let you get on with your day or your evening. <laughs> have a beautiful day, guys. I'll, I'll see you soon.